Let's bring in Representative Terry Sewell, the only Democrat in the Alabama congressional delegation. She'll be campaigning with Doug Jones later today. Congressman Sewell, I want to get your reaction first to Roy Moore's political strategist, Dean Young. He says Moore's accusers are liars. Your response? Listen, the people of Alabama deserve a senator whose character and integrity and veracity won't be in question day one in the United States Senate. And we're working hard to make the case for Doug Jones. At the end of the day, they're putting party before people, party before principle. There's no reason to doubt these women. Uh, independent corroboration, uh, contemporaneous accounts, uh, and eight people who didn't know each other. Uh, at the end of the day, when, uh, when, when Roy Moore, if he should win, goes to Washington, we will always be questioning his character. And I believe, and I know, that lawmakers, uh, part of it is that we have to work together and across aisle in order to get things done. And there's only one candidate in this race who has earned the right to be the United States senator, and that's Doug Jones. But, but Doug let, has been out here Congresswoman... making the case. I, I know he's been out there making the case, but these are very serious accusations against Roy Moore. Why is this race even close? Listen, the state of Alabama voted for this uh, president by 28 points. The fact that we are closed and narrowed in uh, to, a, to a statistical uh, dead heat is really important. I believe that uh, the people of Alabama that this uh, realize that this election is really about the soul of this nation and the soul of, of Alabama. And we who have been a, a proud Alabamians know that we have uh, been trying to overcome our painful past. And uh, this, uh, this candidate, uh, Roy Moore, will only take us backwards and hearken us back to the days of segregation. And Doug Jones will take us forward. I really believe that the people of Alabama understand what is at stake. Uh, and all the, uh, the, the strategists can keep saying is that uh, only Roy Moore will, 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 will be behind this president's agenda. Um, so they're putting, you know, party over principle, party over the people. And I hope that the folks of Alabama, I really believe that the folks of Alabama will see through this and choose to vote for the right candidate uh, over uh, partisan politics. And, and Congresswoman, I want to get your reaction to a mailer that the Jones campaign sent out to voters, which says, think of a black man went after high school girls, anyone would try to make him a senator. Many view that mailer as racially insensitive. One African-American voter told a local news outlet he no longer play, uh, plans to vote after receiving the ad, saying, for his campaign to put this flyer out, it is a complete slap in the face. You're the only African-American representing Alabama in Congress. Was that a mistake? Listen, uh, ads don't, mailers don't vote. It's people who vote. And I really believe uh, that the folks of Alabama will see through um, all of this uh, nonsense about Roy Moore. Uh, at the end of the day, but, uh, but was we that mailer to a have mistake? A Do you think that was a mistake? I know people vote and mailers don't, but was it a mistake? Yeah. Well, listen, I, I don't think that the folks are concentrating on one piece of literature. I think that we have to look at the whole body of, of, um, of evidence and facts that, um, that Doug Jones has been, you know, saying as to why he is the right candidate for the state of Alabama. So and, and one I of hope those that facts, we won't look at just is, one piece of literature. One, one, of, one of those facts is uh, uh, Doug Jones' position on abortion. Let me read what he said in September. I am a firm believer that a woman should have the right to choose what happens to her own body. A Pew Research Center study in 2014 found that 58 percent of adults in Alabama say that abortion should be illegal in all or most cases. So why should Alabama voters vote for Jones if they disagree with him on his stance on abortion? Because we should not be voting on just one issue. We should look at the full body of issues, from health care to education to the economy. We need someone in Washington who will be an asset to uh, the state of Alabama and help us bring industry to Alabama and not a distraction, a national distraction and a national embarrassment. So I think at the end of the day, the folks of Alabama realize that it's not about one single issue. It really is about all the issues that matter to, uh, to everyday Americans. We have a tax reform bill that's being called a tax reform bill that's about to go up for a vote that will not help middle class Americans, that will not help Alabamians. It's a raw deal all the way around. And those are really, really important issues that are 
affecting everyday Americans every day. Okay, thanks very much, Congresswoman Sewell. Appreciate your time. Thanks. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.